Hello guys, it's Paul from DronesGuitar.com and this time we're not going to review just one drone like we did last time, but we're going to actually compare three of these babies. The Rise Tello, the Xiaomi Mi 2 and the newcomer, the iDrone. I pretty much consider this drone to be the top three drones under $100. First of all, I have reviewed them individually on this channel and I also have compared them very in depth on dronesgator.com, you can check the article over here if you're lazy to watch the video. This being said, let's check them out and see which one is better for you. When it comes to battery life, the Tello wins by quite a bit. It's pretty impressive how long such a small drone can stay in the air for. But then again, Tello sports a 1100mAh battery. The Mi 2 has 920mAh and the Drone X has 650mAh. This is a bit reflected in the price too, as the cheapest you can get the Tello for is about $99, while the others can be found for even under $80 or even $70 if you got a coupon code, which I may put down in the description if there are any working ones. Now let's get to the more interesting stuff. Well, on paper, the Mi 2 and Tello have 720p resolution. But wait for it, the cheaper Drone X from VI can record 1080p. However, there is a caveat to that. The Tello also has electronic image stabilization, which will make the footage much more stable than the other two. And that's pretty important. The camera resolution is not the single most important factor when it comes to the camera, so let's compare them in real life. I just put them through the Gator camera benchmark to see which is sharper. They are all sitting in the exact same spot relative to the image, all with the same indoor lighting. This is the standard image resolution of the Drone X DI. If I overlay the video from the Tello, it's about this big compared to it. Same happens with the Meter Drone. Now let's zoom them all in at the same size and see if we can notice any differences. At the first glance we can see that the colors of the Tello are not as saturated and the quality seems to be a little less sharp than both. But as you can see the edges are much more precise and without any artifacts. You can see in the center of the wheel that the lines are more clearly defined for the Tello than for the higher resolution DI drone. But the eye still seems sharper. Let's zoom in a bit more. They all seem to have a bit of noise because the lighting conditions aren't perfect inside. If we stop on a frame and zoom in to analyze further, this image shows clearly that the Tello has the least detail, as we can't even see the letters in Jones Gator and also the worst color reproduction. The alligator goggles aren't even noticeable or blue anymore. The image from Drone X is sharper and more details can be seen, and this is definitely the best when it comes to color as we can clearly see the blue color of the goggles for the pilot alligator. But what surprised me most is the Xiaomi Mi 2. The color reproduction is not the best as it has a reddish tint, but the margins are definitely much sharper than the other two and the margins don't have strange lines like the i1. Just don't reach a conclusion at this point. I'll bet you'll be very surprised at the end of this video. When it comes to pictures, will we find the same results? If we talk about photos, well, these three have completely different resolution. This video that you're seeing now is edited in 1080p, so I have to actually scale down some. The photo of the eye drone is a stunning 4K photo resolution and 1.8 megabytes of information. The one from the Tello is slightly smaller, around 2.7K and 1.43 MB, and the Mi 2 takes 720p photos that have about 243 kilobytes in size. But let's compare them fairly, which in my opinion would be to set them all to the same margin resolution like before, and only then zoom that amount by 3 times. Now it's pretty obvious, the Mi 2 definitely has the less sharpness and overall quality. The battle remains between the Tello and the Drone X. The same strange, snaky margins remain visible for the DI drone, but the white color of the sheet is much more cleaner than the one on the Tello, that seems to have some compression artifacts over it. If we brighten the Drone X image a bit, it's clear that the white sheet from the Tello image has some strange features, but even so, the Tello image has slightly better details in my opinion. Even if we zoom the Tello image a bit, it's still clearly better in detail than the DI one. If I import these photos with myself at the respective sizes, we can clearly see the same effect once again. Let's make them fit the screen first of all. They were all taken in the same indoor lighting condition. Keep watching if you want to see outside footage as well. Again, the resolutions differ a lot, and so does the quality. Clearly, the Xiaomi has problems as the image is not very sharp, and there is a lot of noise. It kinda has webcam quality in my opinion. The Tello in the middle is probably the sharpest, but the color reproduction and skin tones are a bit off, 
and a bit too washed out. The Drone X from DI is the best when it comes to selfies in my opinion. Keep in mind that they are all taken from the extent of my arm, so basically the same spot. I think this is enough with the footage inside. Let's quickly overview the storage capacity of each and why that is important. The iDrone has a microSD card slot and the Mi 2 has 3GB of internal storage, but Telo has none. This means that the DI drone and the Mi 2 will capture video directly from the camera to the drone, while the Telo will have to go through the phone Wi-Fi connection, which can have lag issues and sudden frame drops. We'll see that in a second. Let's get over drone stability. I have tested them inside and measured how many centimeters they move from the initial point in about 20 seconds. The less the better. They all have optical image stabilization, so it should be easy for them to stay stable. The Telo was the most stable with 4.5 cm in 20 seconds, while the Mi 2 was the less stable one. Before going outside, let's take one more photo with each from the same spot at my window. Again, it's not even worth comparing the Mi 2 to the other two. The image is clearly inferior. You probably already know that the Telo has a slightly wider angle and therefore it captures more stuff in the same image. The details are nice for both, but I like the Drone X a little bit better as it's more sharp. As you can see in the detail of the leaves on the ground and even on the signpost right here. The sky is a bit blown out on the right one, but that's probably because it adjusted the picture to be slightly more lighted for the other areas as well. Let's see how each of these handle outside windy weather. Starting with the Joan X from the eye or thy eye, I'm not really sure how this is spelled. You can see that in this low light situation with almost no wind, the drone is very stable. The next day I took it out and the wind was blowing much more, yet the drone kept quite stable on the spot. Turns aren't the smoothest, but the image quality is pretty damn great, I must admit. It's like lifting a modern smartphone camera up in the air. The drone does shake a bit when a stronger wind is present, which is normal. Let's see how the Mi 2 handles wind. Xiaomi Mi 2 can also fly pretty stable when at small distance above the ground, but I feel like it's even shakier than the Drone X and the image quality looks poorer to me. I also almost hit it on a 3 because the wind took it away. Now let's raise the Telo in the air. I hope you noticed what a colossal difference the image stabilization makes compared to the other drones. It's the same windy day, yet the video is silky smooth. But it does have a fluke though. You can see that I jump frames from time to time. And that's mainly because it doesn't have onboard storage space and it needs to send files directly to the phone. This can be quite a hassle, but damn, the image is so stable I can't even believe it. I do find that when moving the drone suddenly, there are strange square artifacts appearing all over the place, which is not very nice to see. When it comes to selfies in flight, Telo has the stability advantage, as some of the photos of the Mi 2 and Drone X can look slightly blurry. The photos Mi 2 takes have a strange red tint to them, are less sharp and clearly inferior. Both the Drone X and Telo do a great job when it comes to photos. I do kinda like the wider angle of the Telo to be sincere, but I'm also a fan of the colors of the Drone X, it really depends on what you like. Now let's once again compare the videos outside from the same spot on my window, and I swear we're done with the camera comparisons. They are different resolutions, so let's bring them all to feed the screen again. Everything seems to have changed from the first example we saw inside. Now the Drone X from DI looks better than both. The colors are clearer and brighter and there are more details. The Telo is also pretty good, but the colors are a little faded. We can try adding some color and exposure in post-processing, but it kinda breaks the image. The image from the Mi 2 is just very dark and not at all pleasant to look at. There might have been a cloud at the time, but even so, there is no excuse for such a poor image. It does seem that if we factor out the image stabilization of the Telo, the Drone X from DI is definitely the winner. But what do we really choose in this case? Also, don't forget to check the description down below with the link for the article comparing these three drones with tables and 
other further comparisons. The Mewtwo is pretty much out of the equation at this point, in my opinion at least. But what do you choose between the other two? Well, I will help you with that by listing the pluses and minuses of each. The iDrone X has quite a stable flight, both inside and outside. It also has a microSD, so it won't have choppy footage like the Tello, and that's very important. The camera records in Full HD resolution, which is quite surprising. Not only that, it takes stunning 4K photos. As a disadvantage, I must say I had a difficult time to make the Android app work, as you can see in my VI complete review over here. But the Apple application worked perfectly. This drone has no image stabilization, unfortunately, like the Tello, but if there's no wind, the footage will be quite nice still. How about the Tello? Its biggest advantages are the slightly better battery life and image stabilization. Here I wrote that it takes better photos, but I was in fact wrong. It's a very close call with the DI, and indeed, it felt like it was a bit more stable in wind than both the other two. Tello is more expensive, and in some countries it can go quite a few dollars over 100, which makes the Drone X a much better choice. A nasty disadvantage is that the video has frame skips because it doesn't have onboard storage. The Xiaomi Mi 2 has AR sensors, which will allow you to play a shooting game with other Mi 2 drones, if you find that interesting, that is. It also has 3GB of internal storage. As disadvantages go, it's more than I wrote here, but one I didn't mention is that it has no Apple app and the stability in wind is poorer. Also, as you could notice so far, the photos are much poorer, which is not a great thing to have on a selfie drone. The video also seemed not on par with the other two, but definitely not as big as a difference compared to the photos. Well guys, this was a pretty hard to do comparison, so if you want to help me in any way, please check the links for each of these drones down in the description, and not only that, I have also organized all my favorite drones by price. So if you buy anything from there, I will get a small commission, you will pay the same price, even less if you use any of the coupons for Gearbest or Banggood in the description. And please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon if you want to see more videos like this. I'd greatly appreciate it if you leave a comment down below and tell me which one would you pick between these three. Thanks for watching and see you later, alligator! See you later, alligator.